the U.S. capital is engulfed in religion as far as symbolism goes. I mean, wherever you look, you're going to find uh, symbolism. The U.S. Capitol building in Washington features important religious figures, including Catholics, amid its statuary immortalizing individuals important to the nation's history. The contribution Catholicism has made uh, to this country and creating the principles upon which it's founded. Inside National Statuary Hall, a statue of Blessed Junipero Serra, donated by the state of California to honor him for founding a string of missions in the state. In the Hall of Columns, we find St. Damien de Wooster, a Belgium-born priest known for his ministry to Hawaiian leprosy patients. At Meridian Hill Park, with the Washington Monument in the background, stands a statue of St. Joan of Arc, which was a gift from France to U.S. women in 1922. The Ladies Auxiliary of the Ancient Order of Hibernians commissioned this monument in 1924, called Nuns of the Battlefield. It honors the religious sisters who cared for the sick and wounded during the U.S. Civil War. These Catholic religious symbols may go unnoticed at times, but they still hold value to the people in the community. I look at it when I'm on break and just <laughs> keep going about my day. It's good that it's out here, as people need to know more about it so they can like, fully appreciate it. Each one can, carries a, a, a moral principle. And when you look into them very closely, uh, there's a lot there that's classical. In other words, it, it's not just their times and what they did, but it applies to all today in the future. And there are these wonderful principles. There's a lot of wisdom there. And when you look at those uh, different images, it's amazing uh, when you go in deep as to how they got there and what's going on. In Washington, this is Norma Vasquez for Catholic News Service.